Gluten causes inflammation in the small intestines of adults and children. Eating a gluten-free diet helps and controls the signs and symptoms of celiac disease and prevents complications. Registered dietitian Jill Novak of Children's Hospital of Orange County explains what gluten is and the kind of diet prescribed to help alleviate complications. It's a natural component of a storage protein that is found in wheat, rye, and barley. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease that is triggered by eating gluten, and when one eats gluten, it damages the small intestines, particularly the villi on the small intestines which where nutrients are absorbed. Gluten is very toxic to them. It can uh, cause damage to their small intestines where they can absorb certain vitamins and minerals which in small children can uh, keep them from growing, gaining weight properly, to another host of problems such as gastrointestinal uh, disorders, um, neurological disorders. Some people show symptoms, poor growth, they're not gaining weight, maybe they're iron deficient, and some people show no symptoms whatsoever. So that's the mystery of this disease, and often you can go 11 years uh, to be diagnosed properly. Jill Novak tells us how celiac disease is diagnosed. Celiac disease is diagnosed by uh, taking uh, antibody blood tests, and if those markers show positive, then one can be referred to a gastroenterologist to do uh, a small bowel biopsy. There are risk groups that are more at risk for celiac disease, particularly when you have one other autoimmune disease, you're at risk for other autoimmune diseases. Uh, to give you an example, type 1 diabetes, uh, you're a higher risk group to get celiac disease, so you should have your doctor test you um, maybe yearly to every other year, uh, that blood test that can see if you are at risk for celiac disease. In current times, the gluten-free diet has seemed to become a fad diet for others. Uh, however, you might want to think twice, because the gluten-free diet, with studies showing, oftentimes can be higher in calories, higher in fat, and also be low in certain nutrients and low in fiber. Wheat-free and gluten-free are not the same thing. For example, wheat-free may still contain barley or rye. However, gluten-free still contains a little bit of wheat. For someone that has a wheat protein allergy, that little bit amount of wheat may still be too much for them and they may still have an allergic reaction to that item. Jill Novak shows us the foods to look for. If you think of the grocery store, the perimeter of the grocery store, all fruits and vegetables are naturally gluten-free. Then as we head into the meat section, all meats are gluten-free, beef, pork, fish, although you want to be watchful for meats that are in marinades and maybe breaded. Then as you head into uh, the dairy section, eggs are naturally gluten-free as well as milk, most yogurt and cheeses. However, you still want to read the labels to confirm that these items are gluten-free. Corn is a naturally gluten-free grain, so as we see here, this pasta is made with corn flour, so this makes this product naturally gluten-free. As we see here on this food label, it says a dedicated gluten-free facility. And what that means is that no gluten ingredients are used in this facility, so it just gives one more layer of assurance that these rolls are gluten-free. Companies can hire certified gluten-free organizations to come in to help with processes in place to ensure that the foods are being prepared uh, without cross-contamination. GF symbol here shows that they have been certified. When preparing gluten-free food, one needs to keep cross-contamination in mind. And what I mean by that is you cannot prepare gluten-free food next to items that contain gluten, because all it takes is a little bit of crumbs to contaminate the gluten-free food, which can still cause damage to one that requires a gluten-free diet. People seem to claim that they feel better on a gluten-free diet. However, studies have not warranted the, to show that removing gluten will make you feel better or help one lose weight. If a doctor is going to recommend a gluten-free diet, they should also give you a referral to a registered dietitian because that's the best way one is going to learn how to safely and healthfully follow a gluten-free diet.